Got a news flash for you, bozos. The card game is back on sale. Oh, my God. The original edition of the card game. Some of our favorite questions right here. Got about 50 or so of them. Sold a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Put them on the shelf for a little while. Now we're doing one final run of the original series. One last job, baby. It's a good, good time to get hammered with your friends and find out if the people that you know and that you love are garbage. So do yourself a favor. The link is in the description. Pick up a pack today because they're going to go quick. Oh, yeah. And that ain't it, Tubby. We got road dates, baby. We got two shows in Atlanta coming up in November. Then we're going to Charlotte, North Carolina. If you're in the area, get those tickets for that. We got two in Philly that are sold out. We got one left in Providence, Rhode Island. Those tickies are moving. We got one left in Boston. That is for sure going to sell out. Get those tickets. We want to party. See you there. See you there. Gang, this episode is brought to you by Established Titles. Mm -hmm. Call yourself a lord or a lady by going over there and buying one square foot of dedicated Scottish woodlands, and it's a great way to preserve them. Yeah, guys, with every order, Established Titles plants a tree and works with global charities to, to support global restoration efforts. So not only are you... Becoming royalty, yeah. you're also giving back to Mother Earth, baby. There you go. Uh, title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. So it all checks out. Your certificate has a plot number on it, so you can see the location of your land. Don't be one of those bozos giving out a star or a moon or whatever. Give out get out something you can use. Pay, we're talking real estate. Let's go. Buy low, sell high. You can officially change your name to Lord or Lady. Uh, you can use the name on your credit card, plane tickets, whatever you want, or just use it to land uh, hot, a hot date or something. You know what I mean? Score with chicks. Uh, the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using our link will effectively be next to our plots. Oh, nice. With a few minutes of walking... We can build our own garbage kingdom, baby, to the moon. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. It makes an amazing last-minute gift. The Savage Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code GARBAGE, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash GARBAGE to get your gifts now and help support the show. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Hey. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that after you to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. Just saw her coming out of the shower. Okay. Whew, yikes. Like the conjuring. Okay. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. <laughs> that one's got to go back in the oven for a little bit, huh? What are guy? you talking about? God damn it. Uh, I was going to have another one, but I went with that. I thought a little well, physical humor. I haven't heard it, but you should have went with the other one. <laughs> Plus, it is Halloween. Maybe the kids liked it. Anyway, my judgmental co-host is sitting across the table. He's yeah, the that CEO. The bus throw. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't laugh. It's your fault. Oh, yeah. He's the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He's also my best pal in the whole wide world, and I love him. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe over there on iTunes. You got full video available over there on YouTube. And those numbers are... Trader Roof. It's cooking over there. Let's over get to 90, that 100K. It's over Come 95. on. Now, listen, I know the amount of people that listen audio-wise. I get those reports about once a quarter. So listen, hop over there on the YouTube. tubes. Even if you listen to the audio right now, pull out your phone. Get us over 100,000. I want that goddamn plaque. I want my P. Diddy plaque. And I get the, the, the hesitation. I don't like signing up for stuff. I don't like subscribing. Then they got your email. They got your info. Then they're knocking on your door. They're asking you for money. The Foley's don't like that stuff. But those YouTube people are good people. Google. You subscribe. You get, the, you get the episode when it comes out. You know what's going on. You don't got to go looking for it. It's a good time. Come on. I want that silver. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously, uh, the greatest goddamn website of all time. Oh, yeah. W www.patreon.com Yeah, that's the one. Check it the fuck out, baby. We are cooking with gas over there. I just looked today. There's over 90 episodes of AY Bonus AYGs. There's over 90 episodes of Hard Feelings, which, by the way, is the fan favorite, the runaway. Mm -hmm. The runaway star of the pack. You got the videos. We got videos. We got us down the shore. We got us golfing. We got the golf tournament. We got both the cribs of my childhood home, the cribs of your childhood uh -huh. home. 
uh, the camping, camping trip. Camping. Got the whole fucking nine yard. Go check it out. We hit the goal. We're doing storage wars. We still got to get down to Disney. We're going to have that coming up. Don't miss out, gang. It's a good time. And speaking of good times, how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. Uh-huh. What's up, dudes? What's up, brother? What up, T-Bone? Boys. Talk to me. Down air at Skankfest. Uh-huh. Yeah. I got a tip from one friend of the show, Mr. Sean Patton. Shout know out him to well. Patton. Good, good, good shit, that guy. Love that guy. The best. On the Halloween tip. When he was growing up, when he was trick-or-treating, they would eat the candy between each house. So so the bag looked light when so you, you showed up? you never had a bag. There was no bag. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> they would come home empty-handed. Holy shit. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, yeah, dude? that's wild. How sick would you be? <laughs> I couldn't do that. This is So this is my question. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I could never wrap my head around that. No, because I'd want to have the... Uh, I, I'd be like, um, not the hobbits. Who are the people that lived in the mountains? The dwarves? Yeah, I'd be like, I want to hoard it. I want to have it all there. I put everything out. I put the Kit Kats with the Kit Kats. I put the Reese's Cup with the Reese's Cup. Then we start negotiating. I I remember I did that one time. Right? I had all my candy and I I left it in a paper bag, like a you know I took it out of the pillowcase and I put it all in like a big like shopping bag. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, it was my score. <laughs> I left it. Man, and my beagle Rusty ate all of it. They say dogs aren't supposed to eat chocolate. This guy ate about ten thousand Crunch Bars, forty seven Grits, thousand Snickers. Oh man! Yeah, we had a. He Vich- was shitting out rappers for a month. <laughs> we had a Vichla hound that tore through uh, like what? three fam a Vichla hound. The fuck is that? One of the Australian hound dogs. You've seen them. They're like golden color. Good okay. looking dogs. They kind of look like Hanzi, but with a pink nose. A pink? Okay. Like a, like a, like a lighter nose. Anywho, he went through like My th- dog's American, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> your fucking, your dog from down under can kick rocks. I don't care what color his nose is. This is goddamn America. My dog's got a black nose, all right? Fucking like eating Vegemite, surfing all day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chases his tail in the wrong direction, this fucking guy. <laughs> He went through like three families worth of Easter baskets and nothing happened to him. Yeah. I thought if a dog touched a piece of chocolate, he would die. Mm-hmm. That's a, the, the will to live, I guess. <laughs> so, so this is my question to you two. Mm-hmm. If you had to eat the candy from each house, how many houses do you think you could make it Six, to? Six, I would give up. I'm not a big candy guy. I nibble. <sighs> Man, that's... Uh... <laughs> Half the eastern seaboard. <laughs> You'd make it to North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom Hanks. Um, I would just be real sick. I would be real I sick. You are the, most days anyway. I would be real sick at the end of the night because that really slows you down. Damn, man, that's wild. It's a genius move by the parents. Really tightens up the whole operation. Yeah, you run for 20, 30 minutes. All right. Oh, wait, his parents made him do that. You don't get a bag. You can eat the candy. Oh, geez, that's like a game show. <laughs> that is like a Chinese that's, game show. That's like a social services game show right there. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Take what you can carry. That's wild. Mm-hmm. Man. Sean Patton is a badass, though. Love that, Sean Patton. I'll tell you that right now. I, I can, can see it. that. Um, yeah, I'd, I, I would want to have it all. Go home. You dump it out. You throw something on, maybe an Elvira or a Munsters or something like that. You throw, you dump everything out. You organize well, that's everything. That's when you start trading too. You of start. Of course, that's when it up. starts negotiating. Yeah. That's hey, when, I don't like whatever. That's when Patty starts wetting her beaks on the mini Snickers. That's what she used. That 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 was her vig. Mm. She'd come in and take her taste. It was always the mini Snickers. You like operating for free around here, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> mini Snickers and Reese's peanut butter cups were always hot commodities at the Foley house. Yeah, she does have a refined palate, so she does. Mm-hmm. The Snickers was the what was the mom's candy bar. Kids didn't really mess. You do mess with Snickers. I just started. Yeah, you didn't. I didn't really mess with Snickers. I remember my brother did. That it. was I like broccoli. Thought when he was kid. European. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? How yeah, how no. mature are you, dude? Yeah, that yeah, no kidding. Crunch for sure. Reese, anything with of peanut course. butter. But once you start getting into weird nougaty pe- whole peanuts or something, yeah, it's like I'm trail out. mix. No, thank you. Yeah. But now I love them. Snickers is the best candy bar ever. Great. I we would somehow come say. back to that every three episodes. <laughs> Speaking of food, okay. believe it or not, I have a I, I have a question for you. 
um, if this is trash or not. So we were away. Uh, we had uh, someone watching the spot, watching the kitty cat. We had a cat sitter. Okay. Mm-hmm. When were you away? We were just away last weekend. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Pinhead. I didn't realize she was away. She, wasn't she was away. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We were both away. So um, we had the cat sitter. Same person that we've used, you know, for, for maybe like a year or whatever. Anywho, um, we didn't get a chance to get to the grocery store. So she bought a couple of things. Oh, boy. She bought some waffles and she bought some, uh, you know, those Prager's, um, Dr. Prager's uh, veggie patties. No, but okay. some of them frozen veggie, patties. frozen veggie patties. Is it trash? Yes. If you eat yes. the food. That the yes. Cat One, left hun- yes. One hundred percent. She also left body wash that I've been using. It smells fantastic. And a dildo. <laughs> Strawberry lube you're using on yourself. <laughs> Shout out to Adam and Eve. Put a little on your toast. <laughs> Is yeah, that trashy? No, yeah, dude, for sure. For sure. For sure. I used to have to Airbnb my spot out, as you know. I've mentioned that a handful of times. And people would be like at checkout. I'd be like, hey, you know, when you check out, just leave the key. And they would like message you. Like, nice. Like, hey, thanks for checking out. But that's a big thing of staying in an Airbnb in New York. It's like. You're going to make a couple meals at home. People are traveling. It's so expensive. There's a half of lasagna in yeah, there. Yeah, so they're like, there's, you know, a fucking half a baked ziti in there if you need it. I'd be like, oh, what are you fucking? You think we're going to eat some food that some stranger made in my apartment? I'm already torching the bed, toots. She's not a stranger. So I'm assuming you ate it with this line of defense. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? What'd you eat? I ate the... Uh, the... Choose the choose the healthier option here because you're painting yourself into a corner. No, I ate the veggie patty. Yeah. yeah. In between two waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I was out of bread, Toby. As an appetizer for my breakfast. <laughs> nah, I had a waffle. Too. Of course you did. <laughs> Come on, man. I was like an Eggo was in there. You find Eggos in the freezer, you make a move. She also... You are uh, surrounded by enablers. She must... Uh, she she must be... She she's she's good with food. She got the 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 good maple syrup from Trader Joe's. Who's buying a fucking bottle of maple syrup for staying for a weekend? Huh? Because she wanted to take care of herself. That's which that's worked weird. out well for me. I'll tell you that. Uh, that maple syrup's expensive. Okay. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, this next way in will be interessante. Hmm. All right, let's get down to it. This is a family episode, gang. Oh, yeah. As you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, you can get your question read on a year, and we're going to do that right here with the Kipperino kicking it off. Let's go, baby. Oh, baby, we got some geeters with the heaters of questions this time, and uh, I wanted to start off with this one because we were just, uh, you know, we've been traveling around a lot. This one's from, and I never thought about this. This is from Spencer, $20 Bozo here. Shout out to the fucking top brass out there. Look at that. Is it garbage if the majority of your vacations you go to are at the casino hotels because they give you the best deals. Do they? Yeah, because they want you in. I think this question's asked under the assumption you're not gambling. You're just going to stay at the hotel. Sure. Which I feel would be the trashiest. So casino hotels, they give the lowest rates. Because the, I guess under the assumption is you're there, they're hitting you over the head for the breakfast, you're fucking, you're losing money at the tables. Sure. They want to keep, they want you, it's easier to get you at the tables once you're in the door. Is this Vegas we're talking about? I don't. He doesn't. He doesn't say. Where else is gambling legal like that? Where else? I can mean, there's you... casinos almost. In, I would argue in every country or in every state. There's casinos. Sure. There's casinos at in Philadelphia. There's casinos in uh, Jersey. Yeah. If you're New do- York, if it's not like a warm destination or like near a beach or something, yeah, that's a tough look. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're going like you know, if you're staying at the fucking casino outside Disney World, that is a yeah bad move. I'll even give you that. But if you're no, go- if what? you're if the you, happiest place on earth, you're, you're at an Indian casino? If you live in Michigan and it's summertime and you take your family away and you go to a casino in Philly and just stay there and do the pool and all that stuff, that's that's trashy. That's that's trash. Yeah. If it's near the beach, I'll give you something. I'll give you a little leeway on that. Sure. I understand that, too. But yeah. But also, I mean, I don't know. Stay in to walk through a casino with like, you know, pool noodles and stuff. To get to the beach is a tough look. They don't make you got to zigzag through those goddamn things. Oh man, you got a blown up raft for like you got your boogie board and you're it's you're like walking a ma- past the craps table. It's like a maze trying to get out of there. That's that is going off. Oh, the kids man. are having seizures. It's too fucking much, man. 
Yeah, man, that's no bueno. Yeah, that's no good. Um, this one's vacation as well. This is from Drew P. Wiener. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> uh, homie of the 10 Bones variety, he says. There you go. Never had a question read before. Are you garbage if your parents took you and your two sisters to a nudist colony as kids? Ooh. That has to be illegal, no? It gets real weird with those nudist colonies. They're not as fun. Not everybody's hard and shit like that. <laughs> Is that what you expect? Well, yeah. What do you mean? Think I went, the guy stuff? wasn't even hard. What am I looking at? A soft <laughs> ween over here? Chop it up, Gary. I'd rather see a hard one than a soft one. Soft ones are weird. Look at they're looking at you. Yeah. Um. That's... First of all, they're never saying it's never. I mean, this is like old trope. You hack stuff, but it's never the people you want to be at the nudist. Colony. It's not sexual either. It's never Which like I sexy. Never got like people playing volleyball. You're nude. halfway there. What are you doing? She's got clothes off. Make a move. <laughs> no, or something. As a kid, though, I mean, I would have been walking around with a little stinger the whole time. I don't know. Checking out boot. Yeah. What? Like, again, they're not. As a I need a good I need a good uh as a child, as a little kid, when you're a twelve year old kid, if you see boobs, it doesn't matter. Well, it could that could be on a dog. No, it doesn't I matter. Oh, I don't like the nipples on a dog. <laughs> I I'm, I'm, I'm very staunch on no nips on any dog. Nipple. I saw one that was pierced the other day. Oh yikes. Um <laughs> All I know is that I, the- I still wouldn't do it for. I, I think even at twelve or thirteen I'd be more like Gross dad. It's just more like mechanical or something. There's good naked and bad naked. Those kids definitely grew up to sell nitrous in a parking lot. <laughs> At some point, yeah. Those guys, they followed around fish or something. Yeah, I wonder what the parents do. I don't know. A nudist colony on vacation. Ah, probably a couple of CEOs. Yeah, it just said it would take us to nudist colonies for the weekend. I don't know. I've seen a couple of those on HBO. I'm like the, not Real tax, sex. yeah, something like that. Man, they're like out in the woods and shit. Yeah, I think it can't be in Midtown. <laughs> what are you talking about? Standing in a line at a Chipotle. Family walk through the casino <laughs> like that, huh? Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, that's that's gotta be illegal. I think, right? That can't be. You that think, sounds wait, like. Call. Hold on, you think the kids were naked too? Either way, I don't think you Ugh. can put. I don't think you can put your children in an environment. That's like. You can't put your children in an environment where there are a bunch of naked adults. If the kids are naked, that's real fucked up. Yeah, I don't think some so. old they creepy say. dude. Looking you got to write in, Mister Weiner. Write in, please. Yeah, God damn it. Uh, that's. I mean, there was there was a while in New York. There's one not too far from here where comics were doing shows. It's in like New, you know, upstate-ish somewhere, probably two hours away. And comics were doing shows all the time. Did you have to be naked as a comic? No, 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 no. The comics were clothed. But I remember like people were like, oh, I'm going to do the... Na-. It was like a gig. You would get every like couple of months or somebody, you know, I'm doing the naked gig. I'm doing the naked gig. Mm. And I remember it being... I was just like, what the... F-? That's fucking insane to me. Mm-mm. No, thank you. I the keep, kids are naked. That's I, fucked I up. I keep my clothes on during Hanky Panky if yeah, I can. Yeah, nobody wants to see me. People are eating. I'll be fucking puking everywhere. Um, Yeah, I did see that naked roast. At the festival, which is a sight to be seen. <laughs> it's uh whoo wild. <laughs> it was, I, I didn't know what was happening. I'm like, what's going on in this room? And they're like the naked roast. I was like, up here in there. And then after like eight seconds, I was like, what am I doing? This I regret this. <laughs> there was a famous porn star there though, Evan Stone. A dude? Yeah. Nice. No, yeah, lady. Well, I don't know. Yeah, Evan Stone. Remember Evan Stone? He was big in like the early two that E Stone. I remember Evan Peters. Wasn't there an Evan Peters? That's an actor now. <laughs> oh, Spider Man. I remember the guy that used to hook up with uh, Nina Hartley all the time. That's going way back though. I don't know who that he is. He had like uh, like brown hair that was kind of slick back. He was like muscular. He was in uh he was in Boogie Nights. He was the one banging Nina Hartley when William H. Macy walked in. He's like, You mind closing the door, buddy? I remember him. That's what I thought you were talking about. No. Heard that Jason Ellis has got a hammer on him. Yeah, he does. There you go. It's pretty good. Stuck around for a Some couple of Some of the other guys, you? not so great. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of uncuts running around, too. Yes. I, thought, I, thought I, was in, I thought I was in Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Vegas or Europe? What's happening here? <laughs> Somebody get the cigar cutters. <laughs> that. Who wears a turtleneck in Nevada? <laughs> I know. Jesus Christ. Hachi machi. Hey, hey, buddy, crack a window on that thing, will you? <laughs> Windows broke on that? What's going on? Uh, hmm. um, all right, this one's from Ariana. Is it garbage to have more than one empty pack of smokes in your car? Yeah. 
But that's, usually that's where they go. They go in the back seat. I don't smoke in the car anymore. No smoking in the Jeep. Okay. Since I got the new one. You have you yet no. at all? Not one? No. Not one little puff puff? No. Not one little... Can you believe not that? Window? I don't know. I genuinely no. don't believe that. That's why, I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm following up until you break and tell me the truth. 100%. I haven't. Which I just... Just when you said it, I thought about it. Damn, I could do that that long and not break on that. Haven't smoked. Don't let Patty smoke in there. Don't let anybody smoke in there. If I want a heater, I pull over. And I've noticed this. From driving with you so much... I've started to adapt the the pulling over. I break it up a lot more than I did. I used to white knuckle it all the way through. didn't matter how long it was. Somebody's got to pee. I'd be bitching. Now, hour and a half in, pull over, stretch the legs, have a heater, get back in the car, and keep going. Mm-hmm. I think if you were still smoking in the car, you wouldn't pull over, though. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You would fucking steamroll those. <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> but, yeah, the latitude had fucking... It was a, like a stakeout. Man. Yeah, it was bad. Packs of heaters back. Then. Um, I keep all. I still in my car have easily twelve empty packs of fucking Mar Marbezies in there. Still Just empty. Just in the glove bu- in the center console. Really? That's where they go. That and parking tickets. You should see the. You don't tickets. clean that car that much, do you? You uh, don't. You don't put a lot of love into it. No, I do. You do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't use it that much, so that's the thing. Huh? So it's like. The only, like, actual dirt, or not dirt, whatever, the only actual, like, is, like, if we drive somewhere and, like, we have, like, you know, it's like a coffee cup, a bottle of water, and, like, something that, like, and, a you know. If you guys are going on a long trip, like, when you, when you, when you two went to the wedding before you went, before you drove up to upstate New York, uh-huh. did you go and get the car washed and the car cleaned out and all that stuff? No. Really? Yeah. Oh, I always get the car hooked up before I like trip. Always clean it out, get it I fresh. You're in yours every day. This is the difference. You're putting a lot of wear and stuff in your car. Mine's mine sits. You just said you had packs of heaters and tickets everywhere in, in the there. glove in the center console. I said, okay, yeah, that's I never open because there's nothing in. I don't. I'm. It's like I literally get in the car, I put it in drive. We drive, I put it in park, and then I leave it for weeks at a time. I don't even know where the fuck it is. Most hmm. I've started to take pictures because I forget where it is. Shit. Well, it's like, it's, you know, I just take the parking ticket. I got to check to see how many fucking dings I got on that, too. Better get on that. That's a bad day. I saw them putting fucking boots on the car in the neighborhood yesterday. It's a real bad I was day, like, man. I should check that out. You, you got the, you, all you got to do is put your license and they tell you everything you got. And you pay it right there. I'm aware, bud. I'm aware. Hmm. But, you know, you live and you learn. I like to walk on the wild side. Come get me, pussies. That's another thing, too. Uh, the new The new car, not one ticket yet. Clean as a whistle. Well, you have a parking spot. True. Yeah, so that'll do it. Yeah, do it. I mean, bef- <laughs> before you parked illegally for six years. <laughs> I've still rolled the dice a couple of times. Yeah. You- Get away with murder out there. Mm-hmm. Kevin, how about that true classic, baby? True classic. Woo! I got one on right now under my sweatshirt. It feels good. It feels loose in the right spots. It feels cozy in the right spots. I get regular T-shirts. I got to go in there. I got to do the fat guy Stretching it Stretch out. Stretch it out. True classics. The slide right's on, man. They got the nice crew neck. The sleeves feel good. Covers the belly. It feels fantastic. Gang, big guys, I'm telling you right now, do yourself a favor. Pick up a couple of them true classics. Yeah, guys. Uh, true classics is the one stop shop for casual crew necks, polos, and active wear. I've, I, this is all I've been wearing. I wear a lot of black tees. I got about 30 or 40 of them at the crib. I've always been a true classics man. I saw it on Instagram originally. I clicked it. It's fantastic. You feel like a you feel like an old college athlete. You know you what do. I mean? You look a little swole. T-Bone even said one time, T-Bone goes, that's the best cutting t-shirt I've ever seen on a man in his life. I look good. No big deal. All their gear is top-notch quality with great prices. Try their polos, knit workout shirt, all you... All you fat fucks out there, this is their copy, not mine. They have long body options, size up to three XL for the big man. There Guys, you go. don't drop the ball. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classics. Get twenty five percent. I can't believe they call everybody fat fuck. Get twenty five percent off TrueClassics.com kind of with. Sponsor. I know my kind of guys. Uh, with uh, code garbage, free shipping included on purchases over hundred dollars. That's twenty five percent off at TrueClassics.com with code garbage. Strengthen your core wardrobe with True Classics today. Yeah, but let's talk about that beard club. Oh, love that beard club. You got to keep the beard looking lush. You got to keep it looking thick. You got to keep it looking soft. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it gets real scraggly. It gets like wiry. You look like a bozo. Like if you get on the beard club, 
Keep it nice. Keep mm-hmm. it smooth. Keep it trim. Keep it beautiful, baby, with the Beard Club. Yeah, guys, as you know, I'm a bit of a chubster myself, a heavy bike boy, as I call it. That might be merch, com- merch coming off. <laughs> Shout out to the heavy bike boys. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, you, you, hey, you got a double chin. You got to look. You got the jowls working. It really tightens you up. Covers it up. It makes you look all right, especially if you're balding in the front. You pull a little hair, a little distract, a little smoke and mirrors, as mm-hmm. I say. Uh, Beard Club is here to help as the leaders, uh, as the leader in beard first men's growth and grooming. The Beard Club delivers quality hardware and consumables that'll give you a better, thicker, fuller looking beard. Uh, head to beardclub.com slash AYG. Take the beard quiz. Use code AYG at checkout. They'll recommend the best beard kit for you. No matter what type of beard you have, the Beard Club is the perfect, has the perfect kit to fit your needs. Go grow your best. This is a mouthful. Grow your best beard today. Take twenty percent off your first order when you go to beardclub.com slash ayg and use code ayg. That's beardclub.com slash ayg. Code ayg for twenty percent off your first order. Beard Club over two million beards served. Do it. Um. All right. Let's see here. Where are we? Uh. Speaking of cars, this was from Connor. Uh. Is it garbage to hold your socks outside the car on the highway to freshen them up? Oof. I don't even know how that happens. Can you do that while driving? You can take your socks off. I can't. I <laughs> dude. I need the bed. I need a corner. It's a whole project. That's crazy. How bad are your socks? And where are you going? I just gotta have a softball game or something like that. But then uh, you would assume you're going home, so you got to be doing something pretty musky. <sighs> Work boots, golf, fucking softball. Then going to like a nice restaurant, I guess. Mm. Unless you're just putting on dirty socks in the morning, that's what I think is happening. Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do the dirty socks. Believe I could do dirty underwear all day. I'm doing that right now, actually. You doing dirty undies? Yeah. Yeah. If you let them, if you wear underwear one day. We've been traveling so much. I didn't have time to do goddamn laundry. 100%. You wear dirty underwear. You wear underwear one day. You let that sit out for two or three days. That's fresh. Everything dries up. I would say more up. than two or three days. For me, personally. I need about a, I need about five days. You want to give it a week? Yeah, I need, a, I need close to a week. I to age. Yeah. The no, only- to re- not age. Age sounds like it's cheese or something. Well, the only well, no, this what, is that's what you're making down here, nah, buddy. No, this is to re. <laughs> I, this I is- hate to tell you there, Bertelli. <laughs> no, this is to to reinvigorate. I would say. Sure, but the only problem is the then the shelf life on them isn't as good. You get halfway through the day and then you oh, start then you start then worse. you start feeling it. Yeah, yeah. I'll it's take a them tough off look. right now if you want to. You guys want to take a look? You know what I do in the hotel sometimes? I'll lay them over the uh, air conditioner. Let so your get, whole room smells like ass. Him, <laughs> right, there you go. That's good. That's what you want. Let them get freshened up a little bit. Yeah. And also, too, you know what those, uh, the air conditioners that are uh, that are underneath the window in the in, in a hotel that that blow up. What are they called? They're not the window units, but the, the the vents right there. Yeah. Man, you put your leg up on that after you get out of the shower. Woo! Calm down the Middle East with that thing. That's coming right off the Cools source. the boys. Yeah, that's not coming from like up on the roof or anything. That's coming from. I love that because yeah, I use the like hair big window unit. I use the hair dryer most of the time when I get out of the shower. I just like the feeling. I want everything dry and fresh down there because I know it ain't gonna last. You know. Sure. I hit it with that, and then I hit it with the Gold Bond spray. Which I had to figure out because I wasn't using it right. I was going in there on full automatic, and I would have it upside down, and it would just just the aerosol would come out, and then by the end it would be full, but it wouldn't work. You got to pump it, shake it up, pump it, shake it up, pump you know, it. You are one of the great minds of our time. I Thank think. you. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of routine. I was just spraying Freon, spraying Freon on his nuts for six months <laughs> until he found out he was doing it wrong. That can't be good for the kids, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, get out of here with a layer of clear coat. Yeah. <laughs> so much goddamn lacquer on these things. <laughs> Put a little ether on it. <laughs> a little pledge in the butthole. <laughs> Let me oh. send. Um, man, you are something else, this guy. Um... Let's see here. Ba 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 hibbity ha sha ba bee ba da. This one's gonna get me jammed up just even in the reading of the question. Uh ten dollar freakazoid <laughs> with that. Uh I this like is that. from bald twenty two year old retired linebacker. Oh, that was the guy in 
I was shitting on him. That's what I said he looked like. I said he looked like a retired linebacker. He was bald at 22. Yikes. Uh, Detroit. Shout out to Detroit. Uh, Ferndale. Fr- Ferndale. He's out there yeah. in the front row in Detroit. Uh, oh, yeah. What is the proper way to pronounce... I'm jammed up already. This is pretty bad. I'm not. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. (laughs) Toby, get the dump button ready. (laughs) (laughs) Worcestershire sauce. Oh, okay. What did you think I was? I thought it was going to be some word that would have would have sounded something racist. Walking you right into a dark alley. Worcestershire. Is that the what's the Worcestershire? Worcestershire sauce. I've always known it as Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, no. I, yeah, I don't think Worcest- Shire. Worcestershire cr- sauce. I think that's too staccato. Is that what it is? Picado? Picante? <laughs> staccato. Staccato. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. W- Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> that, I mean. It's Worcestershire. I got to I'm not listening to some fucking computer. It's the first thing that comes up if you do how to pronounce. Sauce. Sorry. What? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I don't know if this broad knows what she's talking about. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Google's doing it. They don't know. That's all AI. Google, Google doesn't know. They want know? us to look like idiots. No, Worcestershire. Okay. Yeah. It's great and bloody Mary. Worcestershire sauce. That's how the Brits say it. Oh. Wish. Whoosh to No, sure. thank you. Let me check my schedule. Beat it with that. <laughs> what are you guys it's in? Worcestershire. What are you guys in queue right now? Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's Worcestershire. What's Q? Line. The Q. The Q to get in. Ooh, that's where we get that from? When it's queued up? Your Netflix queue? Sure. You had that. Queued up, I think, is a little different, but the they say that the li- uh, line in the UK, like you're in line. Uh huh. Where's the queue? It's at the queue. The Q, yeah. K or sorry, Q Q U E. I. Uh, so when Q- Netflix was get, was was handing out CDs or DVDs, what? I missed all that. I wasn't fucking with Netflix when they had the when they were sending the. There's no way Patty was letting things get mailed to the house like that. Yeah, and not until it was Fort streaming. Knox over there. Yeah, not until it was streaming did we get on board. But I remember my cousins and everybody saying, "Yeah, I have it in my queue on yeah. Netflix." Yeah, your queue. That means when it's available, they're going to send me a copy. Sure. That's the same thing. Yeah, that's one application of the word. Toby, Google how uh, Garth Brooks says Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> American. Yeah, I want an American. <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> See how Jelly Roll pronounces it, God damn it! Let's go. I'm not listening it's to this broad. honey mustard. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're talking about A1 sauce, my man. Mm. Yeah, I'm not listening to her. Oh, man. Get out of here with that. Yeah. Worcestershire. No, Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I'm ne- I've never, con- I want, I don't like it. Two, I've never, I'm not, I could never confidently say that. You don't like it. Really? Mm-hmm. It's great. I don't know. It's in a lot of things that you like. Do you like cocktail sauce? No. You don't? No. Interesting. You like ketchup? Not huge fan, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I dabble. You like barbecue sauce? Sure. It's in that. Okay. Yeah. Sure. What else do you like? I don't like they you. Put, they put a little. <laughs> it's in. It's, I, you've got to be filled with it because I in, hate you. You know what it's in? What? Manhattan's. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that and IPAs. Uh, not an IPA man. Um, yeah, we are. <laughs> Toby, cut that. Uh, this is from Julia, ten dollar homie, long time bozo. Finally, have my garbage question. Ever done coke on Christmas? Christmas Day or Christmas Eve? I would say I Christmas Day, I feel, would be the sadder. Christmas Eve, there's some party to it, right? Mm-hmm. Christmas Eve is we're all getting together. We're joining up families, cousins, friends, every, you're, whatever that, what, however you define family, that circle's coming together, and you're having some cocktails. You're getting pretty crazy. And at certain ages, I'm sure a bag gets broken You're out. with the cousins haven't seen in a long time? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got anything? I still got some upstairs. If it's me. later on when maybe some of the older folks have gone to bed. I mean, you can't be doing bumps with fucking grandma at the I table. I know. Yeah. Or the, the, the meatballs are out. 
The Swedish meatballs are still um, out and shit like that. I just imagine Christmas Day, some dude bumping lines, just going, oh, man, I got to get that tree up. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got an extension cord? Oh, man. These poor kids. Yeah, you should be doing it if you got kids. I'm talking about, oh, like, Jesus, college age. Yes, of course. 20s, whatever. You're 30s, weekend. 40s. Yeah, come on. 47. <laughs> He'll be 47 this Christmas. Uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a real tough look. I feel, you know, although I have in my, you know, uh, early twenties days, we would go party on Christmas day, Christmas day night with the boys, with the boys. Yeah. Cause my mom would go to my, my stepdad's family's house. My brother would go to his girl. You're talking family. college. Yeah. 20. When you had that month off to do absolutely nothing, <sighs> man, come on. That was all right. Pick up. Everybody's a got of- fresh gear on Ooh. at the pub. You're hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit of cash on. Yeah, you. I got a, my Aunt Kate. This is for sure what happened. I go to my Aunt Kate's uh, in the city. We'd hit Aunt Kate's. It would just be me. So then I would fucking, you know, I would get there and go, all right, I'm going to get mobile out of here because I got to get back to the fucking hood to, you know, to meet up sure. with the boys. I'd hop out of there. I'd call fucking Pat up. And when there's no guilt of like, ah, it's Christmas, I guess, but when they're going, it's, all right, they're going somewhere, I'm out. Well, it's like That's every, a great my feeling. whole family had dispersed, so I would go to my aunt's house because my, you know, and I didn't want to, whatever. So I, was, I would go there, see my aunts, my uncles, my grandparents. So I did all my, my responsibilities were all checked. And then they start wrapping it up because it's all older heads. I go, I'll see you later. You were just making sure you hit up every house to get an envelope. Yeah, get greased up a bit. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Aunt Carol. <laughs> shout out to fucking Aunt Patty. Shout out to Aunt Kate. They take care of the kid. Ooh, shout out to Uncle Joe Nada. Used to oh. come in heavy bike with the envelopes. Aunt Kate, hundred every time I see her. Mm-hmm. She's got no kids. Fuck, break you off real quick. Too sweet. It was great. Um, so I, I hit Pat up. Yo, let's go spend that Christmas cash. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Everybody's flush. So we'd go to fucking the pub. Man, you're just like sitting there and like. New like, Amber Crombie on. Can't tell me nothing. Yeah. Who shoot the cops shoot the when you walk Chrissy. In. It was more of like express. At that time, we were feeling ourselves a little bit. The thin sweaters with like the nice the thin crew sweater neck. With, a, with like a shirt on, with like oh. a button up under Woo! it or something. A nice pair of khakis. Woo-wee! New pair of jeans with a sticker on the side. Says uh, large, still, large, large, large. Still, large. still <laughs> says 38, 32 on it or whatever. Oh, God. <laughs> I was always bad. You show up to Christmas dinner. I'm like, your cousin's like, you got a tag on you. Like, Fuck. <laughs> Wearing 3829s like a porker. Uh, <laughs> I think Which Becky is- Owen has that. You're, <laughs> you're an upside, you're an improper fraction or whatever it is. <laughs> 3830s. <laughs> That's where I was. I was looking for 3630s over in Europe, and like they, they can't comprehend that a guy would be that proportion. You know what I mean? That's a lean group over there. <clears throat> um, yeah, you can't. But we would party. It was like sad. We'd go there and like spend it how we would spend like a Saturday night watching the fucking Eagle you know, or something, you know, watching a, a, a hockey Yeah, game I wouldn't say that's sad. You're a young well, guy. Nah, you, but you, you would look around and you'd be like, this is. Oh, when you this- look around at the other people that are there, you get sad. That's like why, that's yeah. why you never eat in a McDonald's because you look around and you see the other people that are sad. Or why you never make eye contact with anybody when you're in a Walmart. Walmart, Target, those places are great until you get to the checkout and you look at other people and you're like, oh, my God, do I look like that? Mm -hmm. And, yes, you do look like that. It's a tough look. Um, No, but you just go like, oh, I should be. That's when it really hits you. You're like, oh, I should be home with. My family and loved ones, but not the guy uh, in a Carhartt jacket smoking cigs at the bar, calling claiming claiming <laughs> claiming steak on the pool table next. Yeah, but there you said they were all out. Your brother was with his girlfriend, and I know. Well, I mean, it's midnight. My mom, you know. I mean, people are home again. It's not like they. It's not like they went to Colorado for the month. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think that's okay, and I'm a big guilt guy. You know that. I love the guilt. I know, but I'm telling you, as the guy who was there, it's 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 a sobering. Moment of you're like, I'd rather spend the time at the place I can spend the time at all. It's not like a special. It's not like they're having a Christmas party and you're like, I got to get there. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you're eating fucking wings and doing fucking Jaeger bombs or whatever. I'm sure you made it back there at some point. Hit the fridge. Sure. See what you had left in the envelopes. Sure. Man, I tell you what, that break between Christmas, even if you were working. I had to work a couple of years. It wasn't that big a Always deal. Always did. Yeah, it was still all right. A month off just chilling. I would have to. Uh, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of time. 
It was like always like December 15th to January 17th or something. Boncos. There was a couple of schools that had like tri-semesters. Trimesters. That was big. Delaware had that. And I'd be like, that fucking Delaware sucks. Delaware didn't have it, did they? Yeah, I think so. My they sister had some, went there. They had something weird like that. I think it was Delaware. Drexel did. Maybe it was Drexel. Del- I don't think Delaware did. I could okay. be wrong, though. Maybe. Drexel was something real stupid, right? It was like... A trimester. So they would go like... They never had like a full break. They got like a week off in the for Christmas and then like... Three weeks off for the summer. I wouldn't, I have, went, I wouldn't have went there. I, yeah, well, that would have been a well, deal breaker. Bales didn't let you in either, so <laughs> that's not the same. Hey, I would have never graduated from there, probably. Well, very true. <laughs> yeah, I checked. That was the first thing I checked out. When's the winter break start? What's the deal? Sure. And check out the cafeteria mm-hmm. and the birds. See what's cooking on campus. Ooh, established titles. Good Lord. Ah, yes, Lord Jean Jacket. <laughs> Good lady. You'll soon be in a war with Lord Dirty Underwear. I can tell you that. <laughs> Gang, do yourself a favor. Get over to established titles. You can buy yourself just one square foot of Scottish woodlands. Mm-hmm. And be called a lord or a lady. Yes. That's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. We got plots. Uh, me and a big man got on there. Not, and T-Bone's got one, too. That's T-Bone's right there. So the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using our link will effectively be next to our plots within a few minutes of walking, <laughs> baby. We can build our own garbage kingdom, our, our own army. We're coming, Charles. <laughs> We're you- coming for you, baby. <laughs> Sir William Ch- Chicken Tenders. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Guys, it makes a great last-minute gift. It's easy peasy. You go sign up. Officially change your name to Lord or Lady. You can use that name on a credit card, plane tickets. or That's just use, pretty sweet. Use it to land some ass like I would do. <laughs> Close some deals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, established Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code GARBAGE, to get you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash GARBAGE. Get your gifts now and help support the channel. Let's be neighbors. Do it. Let's go. Um, all right, this one's from Abe. Uh, you ever give a little kid relative a toy without the batteries to use it? That's that's you're losing uncle of the year or aunt of the year award right there. No, I'm you gotta come correct to make sure they can use it immediately. Yeah, I'm a nerd with that stuff. Yeah, I've gone so far as I've put it together and given it to them. Sure, that makes sense play with it a little bit before I give it to Yeah, them. but that kind of takes, I think they like the excitement of like the box Ripping and the whatever. Open open yeah, it. giving yeah. them like a completed thing is like kind of fucking whack. You know what I mean? It wasn't a Lego. And it was one gift. I remember specifically, it was when the Avengers came out, they had uh, the Quinjet and they had a, an Iron Man that flew alongside of it. Then I got him a bunch of other stuff too. But that, I opened and put that together, and that was like... Played with it in the tub a little bit, too. <laughs> that was sitting on top of the big pile of toys. Okay. My mom used to do cool stuff like that. She'd set one or two things up. So it was all the presents lined up in packages, and then like one or two things like, you know, like showpiece. Sure. Yeah. Like a Macy's window. She did all right. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know if we did that, really. We also had to go I back and... Uh, well, we were when we were done opening everything up and playing with all the toys. We had to we had to like put everything up. We had to like organize everything and put everything neat in front of the Christmas tree. So when people came over, do a little face throwing. Yeah, show them the basketball net yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's real classy. Fucking throwing it in your loved one's face is how good your Christmas was. That's that's what kind of fucking dirtbags you are. He show up the- your Nerf ball, Henry. <laughs> show you, show you, show your less fortunate cousins all your nice toys. <laughs> we were the less fortunate cousins. They went over and kid came in and kicked our stuff. <laughs> uh, has their name on it? Theirs from last year. <laughs> ah, that was the worst. Getting jealous of what other people got for Christmas. Um, I remember this. Yeah, I never. I remember this girl coming in. She stated the number of presents she had. She's like, I got twenty-seven presents. And I remember where she lived, and I'm like, this ain't, were they from the dollar store or something? What are you, you counting the batteries? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this don't make sense. <laughs> you get a 12-pack of crayons? This ain't, like, this ain't adding up. Um, oh, if I got crayons, that would have been a problem. I think I probably got, like, an art set of some, remember those, like, art light plastic art sets you would open up, and, like, the pastel colors were in there? there sure. Was colored pencils. Yeah. I'm sure. Though, I'd ruin like, that in about 15 minutes. <sighs> never lasted. No. Uh-uh. Ruin it. <laughs> yeah. Ruin it. Dogs eating the paint and yeah. stuff. Yeah. There wasn't a toy that I didn't break. I remember one of my cousin's girlfriends gave me and my brother uh, 
I got the Trans Am from Smoking the Bandit, and he got the Dukes of Hazard car. And it was like this, but they were bigger and like full of detail. Like it was probably at the time 56, the hood opened, all that stuff. I remember those size cars. Dude, me they were and like my, metal too, right? Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, me yeah, and my yeah. brother, we got them. She was watching, she was babysitting us. They were in the room watching like a movie or something like that. Mm-hmm. Me and my brother went in the living room and just started <laughs> smashing them together and literally disintegrated them. Man, she came in bawling her eyes out. Yeah. Then my mom came home and we fucking got lit up. <laughs> I don't mean Christmas lights either, no. folks. <laughs> took, a, took a beating for that one. Hit you with the old fucking left, left, right. She <laughs> goes out and buys you this and you destroy it. She hit you with the Mickey Ward Daddy. body, 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 head. Woo! The big- <laughs> <laughs> Dickie told me that. And the big man came downstairs. Started laying heat <laughs> from the top ropes with the elbow drop. <laughs> you flashed a gun on us. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you pussies want to get sweet? <laughs> Sh- sh- showed you some nickel. <laughs> yeah, dude. Started putting the car back together like we worked at Pet Boys. <laughs> um. All right. Let's see here. This is from John. Have you or anyone you know never had bullet hole stickers on your car? No, that's trash. That's trash. I gotta say. You uh, did? Not uh, my stepdad did. Sure. And we thought it was the coolest thing uh, in I the mean, world. Yeah, when you're ten, it is cool. Or th- f- f- you know, forty two, whatever. <laughs> we were. Uh no, man. I remember like really thinking that was when those dropped those magnets. Mm-hmm. They were mag, and I was like, "This is the fuck. We are the coolest family in the world." You missed the whole. Uh, you were too young for the windshield. They had they would have something on the windshield, but they big dudes had banners on the windshield. Yeah, no, they have that. Like, uh, they like had the, that when you were a kid. Yeah, yeah. I remember we were on the lacrosse bus one time, and we were coming back from the lacrosse game, and this dude pulled up in like a geo tracker, some like twenty five year old, twenty year old dickhead. Fuck it, yeah. And on the windshield, it said, "Your girl's next." Dude, we Imagine started. Where? What's the self awareness level of like? We started parking that in your driveway. Dude, we started pelting that thing with lacrosse balls and fucking gaming. <laughs> yeah, right, that's crazy. We man. were hanging out the windows, screaming, "You loser!" Dude. That's fucking crazy. Oh man, the la- I, that's wild. Your girl's next. I told you we saw one. I, I think I said it. That's I, a guy who's definitely getting cheated on. By the way, yeah, I saw a guy <laughs> that he had. His said just Ron Jeremy. Which I was like, that's odd mm-hmm. to just like big up a fucking male porn star. Like that's what you're driving around. That's like what you're that's your your, your fucking knock around car. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a bozo. It's move. wild. But the bullet holes are a little bit different. My stepdad was big into that stuff of like he's like, I'll put this on Dave's car. Dave will think his car got shot. You know what I mean? Like it was like those like those like weird that uh, exploding pen, like just like weird shit. The, uh-huh. like, they, like, I think he spent a lot of time at Spencer's Gifts, it felt like. You know what I mean? Now, those candles, on the other hand, I've seen a couple of ants almost give themselves emphysema trying to blow those things out. Those were a good time. The trick candles? But you knew the second that the like list. It was like the yeah. goddamn 4th of July on those cakes. You knew right away. Yeah. All but right. But for a got... couple of weeks, I think in around 86, 87, <laughs> that was a good time. I don't know. That, yeah. Not my cup of tea. No? No. Huh. Just hacking along all over the fucking cake I'm about to eat. Well, we've learned a lot since the pandemic, sure. Cake, <laughs> fucking rocks. Uh, this one's from Nick. Is it garbage to decorate your front lawn for Thanksgiving, i.e. an inflatable turkey? I don't hate it. Uh, I'm big on that stuff. Uh, but Thanksgiving? That's not a decoration holiday. Hmm. Inside, you got the centerpiece. You can do like a fucking whatever, you know. You can do like stuff on the tables and the the counter or whatever. Let me ask you this. Yeah, that's shoot away. Because we always would start with the Halloween. Okay, you start with the Halloween decorations in the beginning of October, maybe a couple weeks before Halloween. Sure. Then we would lightly transition into the Thanksgiving decorations, which you take away the jack o' lanterns, you take away the thing, maybe leave a pumpkin or a gourd or something like that too. But we always had the corn stock. On uh, the, the corn stalk was big, huge. Always had the corn stalk on the mailbox. Sure, well, that's more. That's more seasonal. You're okay that's, with that? Yeah, that's season. You're celebrating fall at that point. You know what I mean? I mean, it was for the bounty. 
But that I mean, it, it, it your problem is the the cartoonish. Yes. Thanksgiving is rustic. Go rustic all day. Go like a fucking a gourd. Sure. One of those uh, thing of squash, a fucking hand turkey for the kids all day long. Which I got to say, I don't like those gourds, man. They look sick. They're too uh, Ooh, too yikes. phallic for me. Go to the dermatologist, will <laughs> Get you? Get those warts, Lance, <laughs> will you, buddy? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> it's <a> fucking <laughs> some ambisol on that thing or something. <laughs> Take that away. Yikes. Give me uh, a nice pumpkin. Get a fucking script of Valtrex instead. <laughs> Maybe a Z pack. Where the hell are these gourds hanging out at, huh? <laughs> it's got the it's razor burn, I swear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking gourd with monkey pox. Uh, I'll give you that. Yeah, it's like, well, I mean, that's not like a. No one ever drives around and just looks at the fucking uh, Thanksgiving Day decorations. Nah. You know what I mean? Yeah, give me that. That's for the parade. You go to the fucking Thanksgiving Day parade to Which see. Which is that really stuff. more Christmas. The what? Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh, Santa yeah. Santa Claus is the showstopper at that. Yeah, but that's the end of it. Yeah, you're, yeah, but I'm I don't saying, even know what was in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's all if, cartoons and shit. Fire. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm thinking thinking small town. It was just a couple of fire trucks and the Shriners when those boys came. Are the guys out. with the hats and the little cars? I always, I always thought they were like, uh, who's married to one of the Kennedys, or who's a Ken- Schreiber? Isn't that? Maria Schreiber. Yeah, I thought they were Schwarzenegger's the, wife. Yeah, I thought it was like their family going around. I didn't know what. I'm still not sure. To be, were they the guys in the little cars with the hats? Yeah, dude, the little zippers that used to fly around. Those things are bad. I don't think I ever saw them in person. But oh. anytime they were like this, sh- I would hear it. I don't like, know who was booking the Wilkesbury Day Thanksgiving Day Parade, but they were on point. We had the shrine, dude. They'd be zipping around, man. When those guys hit the streets, look out. I would hear. Stories of like our parent, my parents would go out, like the cousins would walk, like my aunts and all, they'd all go out to like some sort of event or fun rate or something. And you would, I would hear stories of Shriners were there. So I thought it was like a family at first, like the Foley's, the Jenkins, they were like the Shriners were there. Toby, give, can you give me a Google? So on I that? thought it was a family for the longest time. What are the Shriners and the Elks? I know what the, the VFW is. The I, Elks is just like a social club. I know what the American Legion is. I think the Shriners are the same way, but they do a lot of charitable stuff. I know there's Shriners Hospital. And what one's married to Schwarzenegger? I don't know. Shriners sounds shady, bro. Shriners International is a fraternity based on fun, fellowship, and the Masonic principles of brotherly love, relief, and truth. I'm out, you dude. slipped that one in there, didn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the all-knowing Gleek Glorp. <laughs> Be like, you have to sign all your possessions over to Zoltan. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. <laughs> what is it? The, the, the Masonic? Dude, the second you start saying Masonic, I'm out. Woo, later. The Masonic principles of brotherly love, relief, and truth. That sounds like they're jerking each other off. <laughs> yeah. And what are the Masons? And sweet, sweet come. What are the Masons? Is there, they do something. I thought uh, they were the guys that were hiding. They're also, Freemasons. They're also a fraternal organization that that trace their origins to the local guilds of stonemasons. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. These guys aren't good either. Bricklayers. I'll give you that. Yeah, back in the day. But that's where they would hide all the symbols. We shouldn't be talking about this. (laughs) (laughs) Uh Uh-uh. Someone's going to knock on the door real quick. The Ben and Black show up. Uh Uh-huh. I don't like any of that stuff, man. Any of the masons, the fucking secret societies. No, we love it. What are you talking about? (laughs) <laughs> it's the guy who I wants. mean, I don't like it in the sense of keep doing you. Just keep me out here. You know, I don't want to know anything. The Illuminati? Nope. No. Want those guys we should start out. our own cult. We got to have something. You got to have like the cup of Christ or something. You got to have something some cachet. But people want to people want to mess with you. Uh huh. We got to get our hands on something. We got a pretty big Boba Fett. Yeah. How about some nudes of Tootie or something? No. All hail Tootie. You got to get like Hitler's UFO or something. <laughs> what? You got to have something something weird like that. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys feel about how elaborate Halloween decorations have been getting? When you were talking about the decorations, I was thinking about the, the Halloween lights, like the orange Christmas lights. I, great. It's great. I it's like. Great. I'm okay with that because it is very childish. It's very like haunty, haunted house type stuff. I'm I'm with all that. Like this one, look at what they did. I, I'm with that. Thanksgiving, there's no cachet to it. You know what I mean? There's no like. 
supernatural thing. You have Santa, you have elves, you have flying reindeer at Christmas, Halloween, you got spirits, witches, goons, got what's a goon to a goblin, the whole nine yards, that's a deep cut. Uh, you're not going to get that, are you, old britches? Um, Just pulled down my pants as you speak. Uh, but there's no, like, what do you sell? You know, there's no, like... No, there's, there's no cartoon aspect. Plus, Thanksgiving's it. taking some heat lately, too. I think everybody just shut up and eat their turkey. Yeah. Keep it zipped. Don't be flaunting that stuff. Uh huh. Doesn't have the best history, if you know what sure. I mean. Sure. You see what I'm saying? You know Let's what I keep mean? Keep it zipped. I do. And there also isn't anyone weirder on earth than someone who owns and operates a haunted house. Oh, man. I worked with one a long time ago in Michigan. I don't know where the fuck I was. Hachi Machi. He called he and, uh, that's what he did during the day, like, I guess off season or whatever. I don't know. And he was like, hey, man, what are you doing? It was like during the day. You'd like, <laughs> you can't be working on skeletons in July, dude. I was bad. It was bad. I, I don't know. I, I could be into it. I just watched that uh, Netflix movie with, uh, I think it was Marlon Wayans, who was in. Um, Why do you say that weird? Marlon, Marlon Wayans. Wayans. Marlon Wayans. <laughs> because there's multiple Wayans. So Worcestershire Wayans. Um, <laughs> he's good. Uh who was in Requiem for a Dream? Is that Marlon Wayans? Yes. Yeah. He has a new movie with Kelly Rowland and the little girl from uh, Stranger Things on Netflix about Halloween decorations coming to life. Cute as a button. It's fantastic. It's good stuff. That Love has nothing that. to do with the actual reality of running a fucking bad haunted house. You watched a movie with famous people and you're like, oh, yeah, I could get behind that. Fucking I like haunted digging, house. What the fake ones? Not like I'll do like Eastern Penitentiary, but I'm not going to no real. That's haunted the house. main haunted place, Eastern State Penitentiary. You know how many people died in that place? I know, but they got kids and stuff like that running around, so it keeps the energy. Or good. maybe they aren't I really running around. I wouldn't around. go in there solo. I wouldn't go anywhere near a haunted house, like a real haunted house, ever. Yeah, no, of course. Um, but I'm just saying, the reality of running, like, I don't know. It was uh, it was a tough to watch. That was a tough reality to uh, to see in person. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Was to like go to like yard sales looking for like props. It was like a spooky carrot top. Wait, you guy. worked for the guy? No. If you listen to the program, I was working with the guy. He was a comic, and in the off or whatever, he ran a Bro, haunted house. Oh, okay. In like Iowa or something, like in a, on like a big barn field. I think it was all year round or for like, you know, like August to November or December. Or That's a good time, though, man. Pumpkin picking, the hay rides. I didn't mention any of that. <laughs> well, if he's got You're a farm, romanticizing that's what he's doing. this. Why don't you listen to what I'm saying? <laughs> he's painting his addition to be spooky and have the neighborhood kid come see It was a fucking sad <laughs> sight. I don't know what to tell you. It sounds like tell a, me more about your movie, Cisco. Sounds like a setup. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, you can't decorate fucking. That's no bueno. Um, no, no bueno. Love that Thanksgiving though. I'll tell you that. <sighs> yeah, it's probably my favorite. One of my because it's low expectations. It, it should be mandatory though that everybody gets the Friday off. Everybody should have Friday off. Everybody should have Wednesday off too. Let's take a week. Okay. Figure it out. You know what I mean. I don't mind the Wednesday. Because the Wednesday you get done work, you have something to look forward to. I know, but it kind of has that Christmas Eve energy. I know, but you're you're looking at your very specific situation. If you have to travel that day, it fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. I'll give it that. So it's like, all right, well, hey, we're gonna let you out at three in New York, and you got to get to Philly that night. It's like, okay, you're you're fighting on the subways, you're fighting on the fucking trains, and you're trying to get an Uber. You can't get an Uber. Everything's all fucking jacked up. Meanwhile, your boys are all doing fucking key bumps at Patty's. All right, here you go. Wednesday. So I'm told. Wednesday, you got to be back at work Tuesday. That's what Thanksgiving I'd should be. I'd go Monday. Shut it down. You'd but go yeah, Monday? I'd go back Monday. Huh. You got Friday, Saturday, sun, Sunday, you're licking your wounds. That's okay. all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Um, I'm hankering for some stuffing. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, it was really cool to see, to get to give my wife her first Thanksgiving of like, she's only ever heard about the, how good the meal is. And I'm like, oh, this is going to blow your fucking head. Oh, wow. What'd she think? Yeah. Yeah. She loves it. It's great. That's pretty cool. Yeah. She's like, how good is it? I'm like, it's better than you could ever fucking, you could ever put your fucking little German brain together. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It's a good time. It's all right. But, but you're saying I can put gravy on everything? <laughs> <laughs> it's encouraged. It's almost mandatory at my place. Um, all right, this one's from Chad. Do you think it's acceptable to skip in front of someone in line at a store so you can purchase your items separately 
with someone you know. That's absolutely unacceptable. Oh, of course. Of course what? No, of course that's trash. Yeah. If I was in if we if we you and I walked into a store together, uh-huh, and I was in line and you went to grab something and came back here, that's cool. Pay for this. Yeah, you know, here buy it. Yeah, yeah, gra- grab me this. That doesn't matter. That does no, for sure. That's the that's the respectable gen- gentleman move. I while standing behind that do get a little upset that this guy's beat the system. I realize I'm it, it affects me in 0% except that this guy's not suffering with me in line. That's a couple thing. That but the guy suffered in line. So, somebody that that okay. But me that is a unit right there. If they came into the store together, they're one person theoretically. But I'm You got right. what I'm saying? The the the, the, the guy that had you waited in line. Yeah, but I, I'm not are you talking about a couple? Couple couple or two friends or whatever. Yeah, I view the two friends as different. Really? Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying if me and you walked into a store and then I went and stood in line the whole time, then you got to the line. You're like, oh, this is crazy long. Buy this for me with intention to buy two separate things. Like you're going to go buy your TV and I'm buying a bathing suit. We're not going to purchase that together. We're two individuals making two separate. I wouldn't do it with a TV. What do you mean? No, I'm saying you're in line buying your TV. Then I'm like, hey, throw these swim trunks on there. That's not a big deal. I don't think. I'm okay with that. I don't know because I feel like they're two separate purchases. Nah, I'm cool with that. Now, if you were like, I'm, of if course you, I'm cool. That's if the you thing j- to do. Are you joining me in the line, or are you saying here, pay for this? I'll meet you out front. I think the, I think the question is joining you in line. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, the set the the question is separate purchase, which is egregious. Yeah, I'm going even one step further, saying I, as a crazy person behind that, I still go like, fuck, this guy beat me. Because he didn't have to wait in line. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm right. Sure. I'm just saying that's how I feel. Sure. Of going, fuck, this guy won because I've had to wait for... And obviously, you got to to paint the thing. This is a long line. Otherwise, you would just wait. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, you're you, to wait in line, you've been taxed. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes. Then this guy just comes in. Ah, get this. And you're like, fuck, you, you just won. That bothers me. That the way me- I see it, if one person is paying... Somebody can bring something up. Hey, I forgot this. Here you go. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I, I, I get that you're a psycho and you freak out. I would be. Sure. I would be too. Yeah. But if <laughs> yeah, you were, I was looking. If for. you were standing in line, okay, and I was in front of you, and Toby walked up and said, "I forgot this," and Toby got in line behind me, I paid for my stuff and left. Toby paid for his stuff and his left. That's gonna be a fucking problem. Oh yeah, I would say something. That's what this guy's talking about. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. That's unacceptable. He says he feels like he's like I've, I feel like I've. I seen probably wouldn't say anything because I'm a pussy. But there'd probably be some. I, that's so egregious. I would, I would, I wouldn't be like, hey, well, you know, I'd be like, well, th- I would be like, that's crazy. Like I would like, at least have you to catch verbalize. some seventy year old Vietnam vet with a no, fucking. Have me fucking jack up. I don't fuck with those dudes wearing those hats that I don't understand. No. Those dudes with all this stuff. No. Hey, buddy. Thank you for your service. No, Korean War vet, Vietnam War vet, those guys will knock you the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Now that shit, but like, yeah. No, I agree that that is the right thing, but in my psycho brain, I go, fuck, you've, you should have to suffer like the rest of us. What if it's a couple? What if a couple's waiting yeah, in no, line in front of you? And that's then, a unit, yeah. And, he, I'm saying, and he's like, you forgot the milk. Ah, fuck, I forgot the milk, and she ran back no, up no, the milk. Of course, that's a unit. I'm saying two people who go in to make separate purchases I'm saying I would get mad if that guy was going to make a separate purchase, but since the line so long goes, buy that. Let me ask you this. I go, that's fucked up because I have to sit here and suffer like a jamoke. Let me ask you this. What? What kind of bathing suit were you getting? Two-piece, yeah, G-string, which are back, by the way. Oh, they wouldn't have even gone away. They went away. They're stronger than ever. Yeah. The thong, the G-string? The thong, the thong, thong. These girls are walking in the pool with their butt hanging out. First song I ever downloaded illegally, the thong song. <laughs> Shout out to Cisco. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Come get me if you want me, federal government. <laughs> I owe Hollywood about $10 million. <laughs> I don't really steal a whole, I don't pirate a whole bunch. Not anymore. They even got the then, subscription. Even then, we didn't have a computer that could really handle it. I'd have to do it at my buddy's house who had cable. Like, if you didn't have cable modem at the time, to download an album took months. I took Columbia House for a ride. That was it. Yeah, but I, I mean, they were expecting that. Yeah. Shout out to Hollywood Video. I'd rent the DVDs and then pop, pop them in my DVD burner. 
Make yeah, copies. guys you that had, had DVD, DVD burners? burners. That's crazy. I remember Whoa. some. Kid, that's cr- some kid Andrew had one. I was like, you. He might as well have been the CIA if he had yeah. one of those. <laughs> Holy shit! That's real. I didn't even understand setting up two VCRs <laughs> to like. People were doing that with like CKY and stuff, and I'm going, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how my dad figured it out. He told you he he taped that stuff off of HBO. Well, that's that was a button. That was just like a record on the, which we still didn't. We've never. My family has never recorded anything off TV ever. But I can wrap my head around there was a record and play button on the VCR. Ours didn't work. I thought just the VCR rewinders were wild. Man, you were over there ripping and burning. My buddy had one that was a a race car. Sure they did. I remember being like, what what, what do you work for, Blockbuster? (laughs) Where did you get your hands on this new age technology? This one is uh, from Steven. Is it garbage to go to the exit of a grocery store? Go through the exit of a grocery store when you first walk in so you don't have to walk all the way around to to the entrance to get what you need. Fuck all that shit. No, not at all. That's bullshit. Get out of here with that exit and exit. No. You're, I don't understand what you're saying. You walk, yes, you walk right through. Yeah, I remember finding out you could do that with just a little pressure. It was when I was working at a grocery store. That was, you could like really fucking, uh, because I think the one I used to go was two separate ones in and out. So they wouldn't open. You know what I mean? It was like the, it was the proper like swing open door, not the slide. So you had to go through each one. Uh, but then they like redid it or something, and I remember being like, "What the fuck? This is." But I felt the like the coolest. I feel like a bouncer. Like I don't have to listen to rules. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bebop and scat. Like you know the like you know the passcode to get in. When I was a kid, though, walking through the checkout the other way, you felt like you were going in to do a bank job. If you would oh, walk, you in- go through like an empty one. Yeah, you're, just, you're saying to like cut Ooh. through. Yeah, yeah, I work here. Excuse me. Like you feel real fucking top brass. <laughs> <laughs> the other bozos walk around me. I scoot through aisle four. I do like to walk into the main entrance of the grocery store to get the full experience. Sure. Especially in the burbs. They're real nice. Got the flowers over here, the produce over here. They're cooking something in the bakery. You see the deli guy Pizza in the back. Pizza guy's going. Yeah. It's all right. They're deep frying some chicken somewhere. It's all right. Yeah, it's not too shit. The roto's rolling around. <sighs> Love me a roto. But yes, we got to wrap it up, gang. What a fun time. We love yous. Appreciate all the goddamn support. We'll see you out there on a the road somewhere. Pick up some tickies. Grab Pick up some, some merch. Cards. Pick yeah. up some cards. Do yourself a favor because they're going hot, baby. Mm-hmm. Grab the cards for the supplies while the supplies last. They are running low. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.